The dot plot is a chart or a graph that we use for comparing values across items. So here we have items A through J. We're looking at their different values along this axis here. You can see the lowest is 9.4 and the highest is 10.6. And in that way, it's similar to a bar graph. But in a bar graph, we always want to start at zero in order not to be deceptive in the way we visualize the data. And it means that the biggest part of this graph is used for a span of values where there's no difference between these different series or the, these different items. So everything from zero up to nine something is without variance across these items. But in the dot plot, since there's no beginning and no end of the dot, it, there's just a position, we can instead let the graph focus in on the span between the lowest value and the highest value and better focus and understand the differences between these items. If we have several items in a group, we can let each item get a dot positioned along the same axis of the group that they belong to. So here we have companies from different industries and we can see their market cap value positioned along these scales here. And we can compare companies that belong to completely different industries by looking at where they are along this X axis down here. In some cases, you can create a dot plot where one dimension that exists in combination with another dimension, something that you would also be able to show with a matrix, for example. So here, in each of our three regions, we have our 10 industries represented. So we can create a dot plot where for each of the industries, like here, basic materials, the total market cap value of basic materials in each of our three regions is shown here as one dot. Blue one is Asia Pacific, green is North, North America, and the red one is Europe. And it goes on like that. So all across here, anything green is North America, anything blue is Asia Pacific, and so on. One interesting detail is that if we continue modifying this dot plot, it has a property here where we can turn on show connecting lines. And as you can see, when comparing to the chart below, that actually takes us to a result which is identical to what you get with the categorical line graph. Let's recreate the chart that we see here. I'll create some space by making this one smaller and draw a new box. I want to create a horizontal dot plot. And I need to start by creating my breakdown. I'm taking industries and then names. And then I need to add something that we're going to use on the x axis, that's going to be market cap. And then I want to color this by one week change. And one adjustment to the x axis is that I want to use metric prefix. And at this point, these two should be identical and we've built a horizontal dot plot.